Yusho Setsu is a homunculus made by Mori Soiken, a major player in the Shinobar Rebellion. Yui, as a master, summoned Rider Raiko, aka Ushi Gozen, the more unhinged demonic younger version of Raiko who resembles Shuten Doji. As Raiko, she is incapable of utilizing her full power, so she has to invoke her true name to show what she's really made of. When she sheds her armor, showing a petite body with mechanical spider leg, which actually isn't a surprise for an experienced fan like me considering if Kentoki can have his giant armor that come from the machine gods, Raiko can have this. In the story, they were the first to attack Iori when the ritual started. That was before John and Shimon interrupted making it a three-way fight. After being pushed back by Saber and Wolf Phantasm, a weekend one at that, John retreated and thus so did Yui and Ryder. Yui sparing Yori because he didn't have a reason to participate yet and thus stuck to their principles over an easy victory. Yui's goal is to make Japan a better place after seeing how bad things are, how harsh people's lives are, taking in Ronin, those who no longer have the ability or have anyone to serve to be a proper samurai in this age of peace. The deciding to use the waxing moon to achieve this goal because as a homunculus they have little time to achieve it any other way. Yui conspires with Shimon orchestrating the kidnapping of Kaya who is the vessel of the 15th servant. Although she was rescued and never became a part of Yui's plans as the story went on ever again. At the fight at the dock when assassin Kagesaburo summoned the Orochi, Ryder was easily able to take control of it. Although after it was killed, Ryder would face Saber and then Rogue Saber would appear, which would cause Yui and Ryder to retreat before the conflict got any bigger than it already was. The team up with Shimon mainly came about due to him knowing her creator, although her other team up was with Tsuchimikado, a fellow master and overseer seer of the ritual. Kishimikado took control of many servants in the war minus Gilgamesh for obvious reasons, Kirky, and John, although Ryder was also not affected but pretended to be so as a part of Yui's plan. After the death of Tsuchimikado, Yui would then go to her meeting spot, take the vessel, although she is disgusted that Tsuchimikado use it for something as selfish as bringing back his family's former pride as as descendants of Abe no Seime. Chimon would then enter the room wanting Yui to hand it over, but Yui gives him a better offer, that of sparing his life in return for Lancer's soul. Knowing Ryder is just so much better, but trying to avoid as much bloodshed as possible. With the alliance broken, they take their leave. Yui would then face Iori, and in their battle, Ryder will be revealed to not be Miyamoto no Raiko, but rather Rather, Ushi Gozen, who Yui thought was the brother of Raiko, but actuality and fate, they are the demonic slash divine half of Raiko, thus they did not lie about their identity, even though Yui thought they did. Now able to unleash their full power, Ushi Gozen fulfills their promise to make the world a better place in their own way, in this case by destroying the old world, being the current one to allow something new to take its place. Yui is opposed to their methods, trying to use their command seals, but it doesn't work and they end up taking the ley lines that Yui once had under their own control. Now depending on the route, what will happen is Rogue Saber or Dorothea will appear to support Saber and Yori against Ushi Gozen. Rogue Saber doing so because he is sent there to slay the evil ogre being Ushi Gozen. But remember, not all ogres are evil, just like how not all people are good. In the case that you do choose the rat route, where you get the scene with Saber, he is able to complete his purpose, but if you choose otherwise, then he will be defeated before he gets the opportunity to do so. In the final chapter, depending on your route, Yui will either be taken away by Thorthea's men to conceal mystery, being a creator 
creation of Western Magecraft and alchemy even after Dorothea's death or assuming you saved Dorothea, Yui would actually have a scene where they get to know Yori a bit better and thus being able to see the warm light that he gives off. Being able to take a hit for him when Chaemon is about to take the Waxing Moon Vessel, allowing Yori the opportunity to strike, killing Chaemon. Yui would then use the last bit of her life to help Yori destroy the vessel. Although in the chance that you choose not to destroy it, Yui will see that Yori has a monster hidden inside of him and see that her evaluation of Yori was wrong as he has strayed from taking the good path. Now if you want to know more about Yori, check out that video or the Machine Gods one if you don't know about the origin of Kentucky's giant armor.